Hey, welcome back to part three to our watching of Johnny Man. If you don't see YouTube, you saw very good version because of copyright reasons. of have been on coverage of this and other Malayalam films Johnny that we've done watch on too, including a whole bunch of Mamut stuff. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, head over to Patreon or channel maybe show up. I'll put the link to show up and comments. Go check those out. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's finish this movie. This is a wonderful twist. Is it the one who hasn't talked? I think so. <laughs> no way. Boy. <laughs> I think that's a photo of the dad who died across the street. Yep. They were like longtime lovers. Why this was all set up by base? Charles and the part of it. Mary, Janiman. <laughs> you, you knew the youngsters were going to get out of control at some point. Nice. Jeez, how are you doing this, cameraman? Yeah, seriously. Good God. Phenomenal camera work. How are you doing that without people? I know. <laughs> that was a great shot. What I miss? <laughs> oh no! Water broke. <laughs> this has been one shot since she stepped out of the house. Yes. Right. No, it went back around to him coming around the corner. So we have a birthday, a death day, a death day, and a birthday. You realize this was this whole film was pretty much a night shoot. Yeah. It's Superman. 
<laughs> I got that too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. His baby. Janeman. <laughs> I guess that's the female version of his name, right? What? Janeman, you can't do it. 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 Wow. Wow. What a. What a film. What a wonderful little movie, man. <gasps> Certified gold. Not just gold, that one's certified gold. <laughs> What's the difference between gold and certified gold? Uh, a level of elevatedness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just elements get, just keep getting added. No, no, no. I've metal. been saying certified gold for a while. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. It's it's there's a, a differentiation of the of the nature of the elevative. Not all golds are gonna have elevative content mm -hmm. necessarily. So it's it's uh certified gold is uh, I, I just what a wonderful little movie. Yeah, it's wonderful movie. It's very Malayalam. Yes, it is. Because it's so original. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so weird. And so, like, any other, may, 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 let me, Marathi maybe, uh, but like any other industry would be like, why would we make this movie? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> People aren't going to understand that. But in the Malayalam industry, that's that's what you're that's what you yes. you want. Yes, it's what you crave. Yes, it's how originality. Yeah, um, it was almost like two movies for a while. The one, the, the party house, and then the the uh, the, the house that the death happened in. Mm -hmm. It was almost happening like a Malayalam drama. Yeah, and then, and it was almost playing out kind of like we thought, like like the serial, right? Thing. Like it's a serial, like, like the ridiculousness. Yeah, yeah. Stuff keeps happening. Uh, the music made it very dramatic. What a great at score! Time. It was very. Like, Bishop <laughs> Bauer is the composer. Really unique. Yeah, score. and great cinematography. Yeah, uh, I really, really enjoyed this movie. I did too. I uh, it was a wild ride, um, and <laughs> I'm still like. Uh, I don't know that I, I didn't mind this one as much, the ending part, because I had a nice little them talking to each other, which was, which was sweet. Yeah. I, you know, but I always prefer, like, I think the ending of them just going to credits at that random moment. That would have been funny. <laughs> uh, I, that's how I would like to end things. The, the ending didn't bother me very much, though, the, um, because I thought it was kind of sweet. It was very um, sweet. At the end. Because, like, <laughs> this is, like... You can't even call this just a strict comedy, even though there's a bunch of comedy. It is it's, a dramedy. It's a dramedy. One hundred percent. If you want to know how to make a dramedy, that's it. And I love the fact that it also has a larger message. There's so much messaging going on, but as far as like moral to the story, the, the messaging really does carry about uh, for all of the times where we see in the world today, it, uh, all over the place. Nothing but divisiveness and differences and infighting that we're, we are we have more in common than we have that are different, and that we all have uh, things that that can unite us in ways if we just stop to take a look at it. it. It's such an intelligent. The story is so smart. the The acting was just uniformly. It's one of those films where you know everybody's on board with the messaging of the film and everybody knows what the, the vibe of the film is. Uh, it, which is crazy because it's such a quirky film. Very quirky. It, it's hard to balance such a a weird film in terms of like what the tone is. Because at one moment, you're serious. You're doing these insane one-shots with emotional scenes. Yes. And the next scene, you're being absolutely... Basil is ridiculous.
ridiculous in this movie. And he, he pulled it off. He did a great job. Uh, but this is the most ridiculous we've seen him. Yeah. Uh, also, he. I think he's probably, in India, from what I've seen, the best director turned actor. Mm. Um, and I, but I'm not including like Kamal San and, and that kind of stuff. I'm talking people that had a directing career and he's had a directing career. Right. And then they also decided to start doing some acting. Anya right. is in that list. He's in that list. <laughs> but Basil, he just... The films he decides to choose yeah. as well. Yeah. This is such a unique film. What but, Manal Manar, obviously, I think that was his actual baby. Um, but what it, we just saw him in something not too long ago, and it was such a great movie. What was it? Was it uh, Jaya Jaya Jaya? Yeah. It was yes. Jaya Jaya Jaya. Yeah. Um, and we've seen him in a, a few other things. He had such a weird role in this. Yeah. And I'm, <laughs> I swear I thought he was going to kill himself. I did too. I thought that's the entirety of where this was going. Yeah. Was like, and I love that it starts with him as the central figure, and then they just throw you a curveball and say, no, nope, we're just getting you into the story with this guy. Yeah. Because while it's his birthday, he's this, this is an ensemble. And to carry this thing all the way through to the end and it not fall apart, either by reason of it taking itself too seriously or going off the rails and not being funny, it's like a tightrope walk. Yeah. It's just the whole time through this thing. It's like this delicate, and it never loses its balance. And I bet there obviously were so many cultural stuff and dialect oh, stuff that, I'm we, sure. that we did not Tons catch of stuff. at all. Um, stuff with um, but music. But tongue that we did get, like yeah, the rooster yeah. crow. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, yeah, I thought, like, the, you know, there's so many shots. Delightful. Just absolutely gorgeous cinematography-wise and tracking shots yeah and sound design yeah so many things that were done with the sound design the editor kieran doss great uh, job i think we know that yeah we do i've, I've seen a lot of stuff with kieran doss uh, cinematography which vishnu thunder uh i don't, I don't know if, if he was the strict cameraman while yeah. doing it because there's, there's a whole team a whoever was whoever was working with the cinematography and actually had to do any of the work carrying the camera, handing off the camera, you guys did a spe especially that hallway fight sequence. Yeah, that was crazy. Man, I don't know how they did that without. And then that into continual out of the back of the car. Like that just that yeah. handoff was so. However, they did that. Whether it was a handoff or they just guided whoever was doing the ph photography at that point. This Wonderful. Is a, this is such an interesting director because this is this person's directorial debut. Right. This was, and then Manjimo Boys is the second. Second. Wonderful. One insane directorial debut. Incredible. <laughs> like the Incredible. fact that you're like, this story, yes, is what I'm gonna use as my first directorial and, debut. And just did a few A D things. Yeah, did it he was that is that's that uh, Fafa necklace film. Yeah. Uh and then a few other ones. Incredible. Very spread out too. Uh and now he has uh, something coming up with Phantom. Wait, Phantom, <laughs> isn't that on your arms? That's one of the things I'd like to to ask the next time we're able to talk to somebody. Particularly, I'd love to be able to talk to somebody who is a director or a cinematographer. I mean, the actors could answer this as well. I get the sense that the entire Malayalam industry is a family and that whatever discipline you're working in, you can learn and talk to others and, and learn all the other disciplines so that it's not a hard transition to have been a, a, an AD on a couple films. You would have picked up enough and been allowed to do certain things that get you to the place where you could be directing within a film or two. I, I'm talking to um, uh, a big Bollywood celebrity. I've been talking to him on Instagram. But he, he, and he was talking about he wants to do like a Western and so he's been looking for a Western script and all this kind of stuff. Um, and I was like, yeah, that'd be so cool. Cause like, you know, kind of a tip of the hat to show lay, maybe right. like Django vibes, maybe kind of stuff like that. I was like, I just don't know who the director would be in the Hindi film industry. Cause I'm like, I, I, I can't think of, you'd have to have a really good, I was like, I could think of a bunch in Malayalam. Yeah. And he's like, well, there's a bunch of new directors he's a, and uh, that are doing some good stuff. And I was like, that's awesome. In the Hindi film industry, I feel like they don't do the first-time director as much as other film industries. Doesn't seem to be. The first ones who come to mind, Raj and DK could direct a Western. Yeah, but he was like, the South and the other industries have a much better working culture uh, currently, is what uh, he says. Uh, um, and so I, that, it's, I sense there's a collaborative family yeah. type of that's atmosphere. competitive. Right. It's, I really do. I feel like they care about the art form above yeah. all else. Yeah. Really do. Uh, super interesting. Uh, what but a good I thought movie. the entire cast did. Uh, there was so so many supporting so characters that were so good, and it was. I love the whole 
serial aspect of it. Um, of it kind of playing out almost in real life, kind of similar to a serial. And it's a testament to their performance in the writing that you don't get lost in the number of characters in the story. And you never lost. You know who everybody is. The Abe Vigoda character, yeah. the the lighting guy. Yeah. And he comes in as Superman. And the timing of everything in the story. And it did a great job to build to this this conflict at the very, very end. Uh, the, you know, the climax conflict resolution when we get into... The, the 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 reading of the will and then she's going into birth and the mother across the street has died and you see the connection between the mother and the father. It's just I'm such a great story. I bet we miss stuff in terms of because I'm still confused. I've because I thought Basil, his character, was gonna have something to do with all this. And maybe he did, and I missed a lot of the subtleties. Like I thought for a while he was either setting this up to so like everybody's there and then he kills himself or <laughs> I didn't know, but that's what it felt like the whole yeah. time. He said in the beginning, he's like, I'll make them pay. Right. Uh, and and so I, maybe I missed stuff. And so if if, I, if we did, please. I promise please this it. is this is the kind of film that when you watch it again. I bet if you watch it again. You, you bet. On even more. You pick up on even everything. Yeah. Stuff with sound design, stuff with score, stuff with acting, stuff with everything. Yeah. Obviously, yeah this is not a one-time watch. Especially as a Malayali, I yeah. bet, you know, yeah, there's so many language things that you can pick up on. Um, and there were so many interesting characters, like the love interest between the, 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 the that guy and that girl. Yeah. The, 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 obviously the, the two dead people. And, and I believed it was a great scene when we have the first interaction between the two sisters and the brother on that back porch. Mm -hmm. And you realize why they don't like each other. I believed I was watching siblings who have a long history of problems together. I, I really believed everybody had the problems they had. The guys across the street, the friends, the buddy being pissed off that they're using his house and him wishing it was at a resort. I mean, everybody seemed to have genuine, believable relationships and problems. Yeah. And it was almost like I bet it was such different vibes depending on the house that you were in, um, the the death house or the party house. Because it, like it felt like two different movies for a while. Sure. Because this one was being filmed like a drama. Right. And this house was being filmed like a comedy. Uh, <laughs> and like we pointed out, even production design, it was all cold tones and warm tones. <laughs> it's very difficult to make a film with such vast different vibes and blend them as a first-time really, director really hard. and writer. You know who... It, he it, not only directed, he wrote it. Yeah. Hats off to... Uh, say his name, Mike. It's not as off the rails as Doctor... No, but the same level of difficulty yeah, yeah, to pull it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. It's more subtle. Yeah, this far is, more subtle. Yeah, absolutely. Let's say his name. Uh, the oh, director who oh. also is the the co-wrote the story, uh, uh, Chidam Bottom, and he's the director and writer of. Yeah, and co-written by Sapnish uh, Vadachal. He's, I guess, um, I we got recommended this a lot after we saw Monjuna Boys. Thank you. Um, and it came out obviously during the channel. I I think I remember hearing about it. Um, but it's something that we just missed. Um, it's super unique, super Malayali. Yeah. Um, it's very fun. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching it with us. Let us know what you thought about the movie. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, why? Please why? let us know. Yeah, please let us know. Uh, which will be our next Malayalam watch along that we should do. Um, Basil Joseph, I, I know he has another one called, there's, I want to, I want to always call it, and it was one that came out last year that we missed. That I keep wanting to call it family, but it's oh, follow me, yeah, follow me, or something like that. Um, it came out last year, it's supposed to be very, uh, it's a, a comedy drama thing again. Um, uh, so it could be that, it could be obviously so many other things. Um, but thank you, stupid babies. This was a joy, this was a, a yeah. real fun watch. Uh, let us know what uh, the next Molly Allen film should be. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version because of copyright reasons. If you'd like to see full and cut version of this and other Molly Allen films, you can head over to Patreon or channel memberships uh, to check out the full uncut versions of reactions there. Is that it?